Hello everybody, my name is Mika Velitalo from Plan International Finland and I'll be hosting this pretty interesting video on how to use the Ombia audience response system. If you would like to collect quickly and easily information about, for example, knowledge, attitudes and practices, even with large groups, then continue watching. So, what is Ombia Audience Response System? In short, it's a handy tool consisting of clickers, and uh, let me show what they are. Here we have uh, lots of clickers, so they look like this. Uh, lots of buttons where, where you can press and uh, submit your response. And then it also has a receiver that you can connect to your laptop. And this receiver passes all the responses to your computer on a PowerPoint running Ombia. Okay, but if you would like to use Ombia, what do you do first? We need to download the Ombia system first. So I will take a browser and I'm going to go to ombia.com site. And then I will choose downloads and take the one on the left, Ombia response. Let's put here my email and then I can download it to Windows. And now it saves the installation file. Okay, once it's downloaded, let's install the file. So do you want to install Ombia response? Yes. And uh, we just uh, agree and uh, install it. And it takes just a little while. And here it is. Now it's installed. Easy as that. You might need a permission from your uh, local ICT support. Uh, but that shouldn't be a problem. Now, uh, if you want to open Ombia, let's just find it from the computer. And this is uh, now interesting. Just look. When we open Ombia, it says you need to close a PowerPoint before uh, starting Ombia response. So, Let's take the existing PowerPoint away. Now it's clean and let's try again. And here we have a PowerPoint, but now with additional features. So we take one layout any of them will be good. And look here, up here in the among the ribbons, you have the familiar home insert design and so on. But now additionally, because we installed the Ombia response system, there's an additional uh, ribbon just for the interactive slides. So here you have all the features available. And uh, let's create one short survey. So we just call it survey and then we have a new multiple choice question and we want to see the results in 3D columns. Let's add question is your sex and then we can put male, female. And if we want to be considerate, let's also put other. And here we have the first question, multiple choice question. 
uh, because we want to see all the other questions and later on uh, divided by by this first question so that we can see how did the males respond and how did the females and other respond so we can change this from the properties as grouping so don't worry there's quite a lot of stuff here that we are not able to go through during this uh, session but there are excellent help files available so by learning from those you'll become a master of Ombia in no time so here is the grouping, we put it yes and OK. And now let's have a couple of more questions and then have a try. So we take a new multiple choice. Uh, what is your age? And let's say below 10 years between 11 and 15 years, 16 to 25, 26 to 35, and 36 to, let's say, 50, and uh, 51 to 70, and above 70, whatever you like here. And then lastly, uh, this is a multi, uh, single choice question. And then you could also ask the last one, multiple choice. Which countries have you visited? And uh, you could say here, uh, UK, Uganda, Germany, Laos, China, Australia, and so on. And of course, because people might have visited several of these countries, uh, we can ask like choose max three. And then from the properties, we can give the maximum number of responses as three. Very easy. And now we are done. So we created a survey with three different questions and now it's time to see how it works. So uh, with the devices, you first need to use the uh, a receiver, you just put it to the normal USB port and as you can see there is a green light so everything should be okay. Alrighty, so we have um, the survey ready and before testing it uh, it's good to save it so that you don't lose any uh, work. So let's save it and now it's saved. Just good practice. And then uh, in order to test this of course we need the audience. So, um, but where is the audience? Cameraman Jani, did you invite the audience? No? Uh, director, uh, director Mikko, where is the audience? No, no audience. Producer Nora, where is the audience? No audience. Well, okay, I'll assign you as audience. So let's uh, spread the, the clickers. Here you are, and I'll get one as well. So at least we have uh, four people responding now. And starting the survey is as easy as presenting a PowerPoint presentation. So we just uh, start it from uh, F5. Here we can see that's the, the first introduction slide called survey. You could have obviously more information there, but let's keep it simple this time. And when we 
come to the first one we will see that there is a small green box up in the corner and that is showing that the response uh, is now active so you are able to to use the clicker but before doing that I'll just show you a couple of things so uh, it is now currently showing four uh, no three different options what is your sex so a is male b is female and c is other and here in the clicker you can also see a b and c and so on you could also use numbers one two and three uh, so now that you're able to respond i'll uh, respond mail and when i click it there's a green blink um, on the uh, clicker and i can also see that there is now one response up here in the corner so now my audience you are free to go a for fee, uh, male b for female and c for other and as we can see the responses keep on coming now we have three and where's the fourth one great we have all the responses in and we now now press space look at the green box it turns uh, red and we get immediately results so we have uh, uh, three male and one other as responses so then we can go to the next question just by pressing space um, what is your age and so now we have uh, seven different options uh, now they are numbered so one two three four five six and seven and again on the clicker you can see the same uh, same symbols uh, the res responses uh, is is now active the slide is active so my audience let's go uh, give you an give your age by pressing the right option okay four that's ready we can stop it there and immediately we get the results so out of the group of four well that's not very big you could have 40 or even more about two respondents were uh, between uh, 26 to 35 and two were between 36 and 50 that's good and the last one uh, which countries have you visited and this is a multiple choice question now uh, my producer was complaining that this doesn't make sense because you could uh, uh, visit more than three countries that is okay but this is now a test question so we, we have to live with this um, there is uh, the slide is now open for responses and uh, choose the, the countries that you have visited max three and as you can see here uh, I'm pressing first UK it blinks red, uh, green and then I'm uh, choosing Uganda it's again green and then I will choose for example uh, Germany that's green and now it says max three responses if I now press for the fourth time look what happens it blinks red and so all your uh, responses those three they are now cancelled you need to start again so it's very important to press only maximum three times and not the fourth time so i can do it again one two and three now i don't push the the extra one and so my response is in and as we can see now we have four responses great and let's see the results uh, the winning countries uh, are UK and Uganda uh, but all the countries got at least one visitor so that's very good we are now at the end of the survey and uh, we can stop it and here we can go to each of the slides and review the results and maybe have a discussion uh, deeper discussion 
why is UK and Uganda being visited so many times and, and uh, uh, so on. This is a simple view to the results. If you want to see a little bit closer and more detailed, uh, you can go to generate reports. So here we can click and there are different ways to generate reports. I'm not going to go through all of them, but let's just check one. Uh, group report and generate. Now it will save it as Excel and we want to open the generated report and there we have now we have uh, uh, results here and they are aggregated by by whether by male or female or other uh, so you can disaggregate all the responses uh, based on sex you could also do other uh, responses you could disaggregate them by age or by do you have glasses or or whatever so this is completely possible using ombia Okay, this is a short introduction to Ombia audience response system. It has been successfully used already in a number of cases in the field. Um, if you want to learn more, uh, go to Ombia help and you'll see quite a lot of more information how to use this uh, software. And you can also then um, Go and test this and see what works for you the best way. Let's end here. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks cameraman Jani, director Mikko and producer Nora. Uh, have fun. Bye bye.